All right, what's going on, everybody? So this is going to be a how-to, uh, a tutorial kind of walkthrough on how to take rock shatter to photos um, and how to take better ones um, in either 5M or, or GTA, uh, doing LSP far, or really just playing around free roam, whatever you want, whatever you think looks nice. Um, you know, you want to take a picture of, you can do that. This will help you. All right, so first things first, we're gonna be doing 5M. Um, so whenever you open up 5M here, you're gonna go to Replay Editor right here. Um, and this is gonna be where your rock shadow, your clips are gonna be saved and stored at. Um, hopefully you guys all know how to you know, get rock shadow or clips and save them. Um, but if not, you know, if you're on a, uh, if you're doing 5M, um, you know, you can just uh, do it with a keybind, and it'll record. And then you just hit another keybind to stop it. Whatever one you have that set to. On GTA, I'm not really too sure um, actually how you do that. I believe it's in your GTA or your your GTA settings, like all the way to the right. Um, it'll be like labeled Rock Shot Editor, and you can just start and stop it like that. I believe, um, but I'm not entirely sure because I don't do the five. I don't do the GTA um, the GTA clips very often. Um, so we're going to go to a replay editor right here, enter your rock star editor. Um, this is going to kind of, you know, have a few parts to it. One second. Oh, good. Good. Dr. Pepper. Okay. Excuse me. I don't know if that pick. I don't know if my mic picked that up, but I just burped a little bit. That first sip of a Dr. Pepper, first sip of soda, always gets me uh, to burp. I don't know, it's probably it's definitely the carbonation. Okay, so this is where you're at. Okay, you're loaded it up. Um, so you want to go to create new project. Enter to hit yes. You want to create the new project um, and add the clip. Okay, so this is gonna be where your your clips are saved. Um, clips by date, or you could do clips by name. Um, this will just, you know, this will order it from mo uh, least recent all the way down to most recent. Clips by date is going to be the one I like to do because that's the one that's uh, the most recent ones. Um, so these are the ones that I took today, okay? Um, don't really, you know, we don't have a really set preference on which one we want to grab. Um, let's just use this one. Um, the one that we got a little bit ago as an example okay so what we're gonna do here you're gonna add it to your timeline and then you're going to edit excuse me oh, that carbonation man really gets me sometimes um, so while it's loading up here I'll kind of explain to you what you know I go for and what I look for in my pictures um, I, so the main key factor is you are always gonna want to get some type of background all right you're always going to want to have some type of clean looking background that that'll make your picture look um you know stand out pop a little bit um now kind of explain you what i'm talking about here so you'll go to your camera this is how you move your camera you'll go to free camera and then edit camera and this is how you'll move it around all right you can move it around with um you know wsad you have a little guide right here um with the mouse you can rotate it around change the height make a higher lower zoom in zoom out um, and roll it uh, with your arrow keys there so we just want to set that back up to the straight um, another key thing and another key point uh, a key factor um, if you're on 5m uh, there's gonna be a camera script called no limitations um, that will literally make it so you don't have any type of limitation to your photos um, and you can, this is how you can take, you know, super high up shots, like with, uh, like with a helicopter, kind of look like that. Um, I don't want to do that, so I'm going to lower mine back down. Uh, that's mainly for, you know, like the, the people who do the cinematics and want to do the far out shots. Um, the no limit, no camera limit, um, is a really good script to have, a really good plugin to have. Um, and it just goes into your five or your, yeah, your 5M directory and your plugins folder in the main directory. Um, simple so like I said you know with the background this is kind of what we were getting the the Los Santos city skyline uh, the background a little bit 
um, we'll zoom in because honestly have not having a non zoomed in photo will look really bad like this is just kind of what you see with your eyes on on you know like if like if I'm in first person or whatever um, this is how it would look I don't really like that um, so I always zoom in move it around a little bit you can zoom in zoom out find the sweet spot um, that doesn't you know really restrict the background but also has a good you know picture on the vehicle itself okay so this is so let's say this is uh, right here this is kind of what we're looking for all right looking for this you know you got the background back there you got the the uh, the I-5 interstate 5 bridge over there that goes like to our borough heights and shit like that um, and kind of like the zoom right here at 1.9 so let's say we, we, we find the we find the point, we like the point. Alright, we like this as our we would like this to be our screenshot. Alright. Some people will just, you know, take the screenshot like this and call it a day. Don't I don't personally do this. I don't I don't like the default depth of field. So you're always gonna wanna go into your depth of field and switch it to custom and also uh, switch it to manual. So manual is if you're just doing still photography shots. Um, it'll help you out a great deal with uh, the higher quality depth of field. Um, you can just lower the intensity a little bit, make sure it has all the car in the within the depth of field. And then that's kind of how our screenshot would look right there. Um, pretty nice. Uh, you know, nothing that you know I would really change here. Uh, you also hide the you hide the the HUD and all this stuff right here with just H something that you know most people with uh, some type of rock shatter experience would know um, that's what you would do to, to close that out um, you know you wouldn't want you know on that on the whole background topic you wouldn't really want something like this to you know you wouldn't want to take a picture like this I mean you could um, it just really depends really what you're trying to go for the background is really, like I said, what makes or breaks a photo. You know, like this doesn't really look like a good background. Like this doesn't look like a good background. It's just like a hill. Um, you know, if you do kind of want something like that, you could do even like this. Have the observatory back there and have part of the, uh, I forget what apartment building that is. But you could have one of the, the nicer apartment buildings in the background like that. You could do it like that. And then just editing up your, your depth of field. Um, like I said, making sure that all of the, all of the, all the parts of the vehicle are you know within the the depth of field there and then you just hit H to hide it and then you could take your screenshot uh, it's really straightforward and self-explanatory mainly you know ha be creative with what you want you know to take a photo of have a good background um, and make sure that you know you do zoom in uh, as you know like I showed you earlier it does make a break a make a break a photo um, another thing that I'm kind of just starting into is kind of getting those those um, how do I explain it like the the photos that like they were taken off an iPhone or an Android um, and that would be with the rolling feature on the the rock side or with this I could roll it one way or the other um, so with the, the whole phone factor before we roll it actually this is gonna help me a lot um, you want to zoom out a little bit there like let's say like that we could always zoom a little bit further out but I think this will be a good distance um, and edit the depth of field before you roll it as it just makes it a little bit easier for you um, and, and and really makes it so you can have the the full effect of the depth of field there so let's say that this is what we kind of want um, go back to your camera roll it to whatever way you want um, we're gonna go to directly 90 degrees we're gonna go back actually because I kind of messed up um, so we're gonna want to go like this roll it let's see if everything's in frame zoom out a little bit all right so that's kind of what we like right here this is kind of what we're what we're wanting um, since we moved the camera further back, we're gonna want to change, you know, make sure, like I said, that the vehicle is in the depth, the, the depth of field. Update it with whatever, you know, if you move it forward, if you move it back, um, just make sure you're updating the the depth of field there. Um, and this is kind of, you know, how you would take a a, a a photo like it was taken on an iPhone. Um, 
going to be a little bit difficult to, to, you know, get it lined up as everything's shifted to the side. So it, it's not going to be the easiest thing in the world, um, but it shouldn't be, you know, it shouldn't be too hard. You just rotate it with the, the pointer of your mouse. And hide the HUD. Um, so what I use to take my photos is a snip tool right here literally every single PC has it if it's not you know I have mine pinned right there because I take so many photos if you don't have it you can just type snip tool or snip right there and then it'll pop up open it'll open right here all right you want to open try snip and sketch and it'll do this right here it'll open this up um, if you don't have a second monitor I do um, if you don't you just want to minimize that right here um, and it'll go right there um, I do have a second monitor so I'm just gonna move it to my second monitor um, and this doesn't really matter if it's blocking the screen or not because when you hit new it's gonna you know fade away um, I'm just gonna move it to my second monitor just because that's kind of what I do with it if you don't have to do that um, and you're gonna just wanna move your mouse and get the actual photo of what you want like that and bada boom this is kind of what your photo will look like um, when you're whenever you're doing it um, I always get rid of the 5M watermark. If you're doing the GTA, regular GTA, it's not going to have an effect. Um, so you're going to want to hit this little three dots over here to photos and then rotate it because we're not done here. You're going to rotate it. Um, oh, we're going to have to redo this because I totally forgot. So I have a big viganetting I don't know how to say that on on the top of my screen right here for for up here um, it just darkens out the darkens out this portion of it and you could kind of you could kind of see that whenever I did take the photo like right here it kind of darkens that part out so we're just gonna redo it um, with that with that not being a thing all right that looks better so you're gonna hit the three dots open with photos and then rotate it like that rotate it and that's kind of how you make it look like it was taken on a, off an iPhone or an Android pretty straightforward all right and then it'll be saved right here let's go to our pictures it'll be saved in this PC and pictures um, and this is what I got earlier, right here. Um, some people like adding, you know, the snap, like the Snapchat filter, or not a filter, but a Snapchat, um, like text bar onto it. How to do that? Very simple. Um, I have my own Discord that I just literally posted it to. I have my own Discord. I just posted it to. Um, and then I just saved it to my phone um, from that I just saved it to my phone and then you open up snapchat type whatever you want to type on it save that and then upload that back through discord and I'll show you what that looks like Hold on. And this is what that looks like right here See a very nice picture, you know. Not a lot of people do this. I'm trying to, you know, I'm kind of getting into it myself. Um, and it just makes it look a little bit more, you know, like a little bit more. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Not realistic, but um, real. You could say, yeah, no, you could say real. It just looks like someone shot this with their with their iPhone camera or their or their Android camera, or their camera on their phone. Um, and that's kind of how you do that really straightforward straight to the point here um, we'll go to another clip and kind of show you another example of everything that we were doing back into Rockstar editor Let it load up, let it do its thing. Had to take another drink of my Dr. Pepper. I'm very thirsty for some reason right now. 
And I know when you drink soda, it doesn't quench your thirst, but just the thought in my head, I'm drinking something, I'm get, I'm less thirsty right now. In another five minutes, I'm going to need something to drink again. Um, We'll go through, we'll go through just a random one here. I got 200 of them. Um, I usually clear them. I think it might be time to where I clear them. Some of the pictures won't let me open them because I'm using it like you could see literally I'm using a different graphics mod here So it's not gonna let you open it if you're using different graphics I don't even think I got this photo Yeah, I really don't so we're gonna edit this and we'll this is gonna be the first time we've actually got this photo because this is one of the scenes I think I totally spaced You know, there's a lot on there for me, um, and sometimes, you know, I, I do actually record them in game and just totally forget that I even recorded them, whether that be if I don't get to them after the session or I just space it. It happens sometimes. Um, so, you know, kind of what I was going for was something like this um, with the mobile background right there. Um, you know, you can always rotate it around. You know that I don't really kind of like how that you know, how this looked right here um, so we'll kind of do something a little bit like this and maybe lower the lower the camera down a little bit zoom it back out so it doesn't look so zoomed in and then we could take something like this or go around maybe and Take something like this I mean this these aren't the best this isn't the best area for what I did because I thought personally I thought this was gonna look a lot nicer um, than what it is now I don't really like how it looks and even this I don't really like how it looks so some this is gonna happen sometimes you know you're gonna think something looks nice um, and you're gonna want to take a photo of it but it just doesn't turn out um, let's see what the rest of this is oh I'm moving here Let's go back to game camera. You can see this is literally what I was looking at in game um, to get the photo. Um, let's see, maybe we move down the road a little bit. We'll play it. Let's play that out right here. Wait, did I do? Okay, I did not. Okay, I thought I might have rolled the windows down right there, but I did not. Um, we'll go back to free camera move it around you know maybe something like this you know you could you could take something like this a little zoomed in you know you're trying to you know you're trying to take a photo of the moving traffic coming that way um, the windmills back there you could zoom out a little bit to get the, a little bit more than windmills lower it down a little bit um, this looks okay not something you know that I really would want to take a photo of though personally um, it's really just trial and error you know sometimes you'll 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 end up you know thinking something looks nice but you know in all reality it's not that nice um, and that happens so we'll just close out of that open up another one it's all just trial and error it's really just experience you know I've been doing this for for quite a long time now you know a couple years um, you know the that's why I mean I'm feeling like I needed to make this video I have I always get questions about you know how do I take such nice photos um, you know how to work rocks editor um, that that just like that so I thought I'd make a video kind of help everybody out and get give some of um, you know my tips and tips and secrets and how to do that Right, let's try to find another photo here. Let's go a little bit further down. Oh, the snow, the lovely snow. Oh, all right, so we'll use we'll use a snow picture. So we'll just load up into the clip. Hopefully it doesn't crash. 
because you know rock shutter is really buggy for 5m and it sometimes does not work perfect all right so it opened up um this is kind of a picture that i did take actually and it was like this i believe i believe it was like this um because i wanted to get those ikea banners in the background a little bit of the snow right here manual edit up the camera or edit up the depth of field figure out what looks nice where the you know where the depth of field is actually at can't really tell is it on the car I will right, we'll lower up a little bit lower it like that and then you know this looks like a good picture right here you know I did take I do remember me taking a picture of this so we could take that or you know you can move it around um, you know, it's really just personal preference, like I said, you know, really to do, to do that. Um, could get something maybe like this. Personally, I wouldn't do it because, um, you know, there's not really much there to, to take a photo of. Uh, the main, you know, purpose of this one was to take a picture of the IKEA banners um, on the U tool. Um, and how you do that is you get Ellie Revo 2.0 and it replaces the um, lore, you could say, yeah, lore um, locations in, 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 the, in 5M and in GTA and it replaces them with IRL ones in Los, An Los Angeles. Um, like, you know, you'll got, you have the Ford, um, Ford uh, billboards. Let's see, is there any? Is there any other one? Oh yeah, there's that mobile. Um, that was over here. Uh, it said mobile over there. I don't know why it says 7-Eleven right there. That says mobile as well. Okay, weird. Um, you know, you'll have the 7-Eleven over there. You got Route 66, the Route 66 sign right there. Um, you know, it's really something that's made for content creators and people who like taking the pictures. Uh, just to replace them out with the the default stuff um, and that's pretty much how you know really I take the pictures and how I get better um, you know how, how I you know practice and how I how I get my you know the videos um, but mainly the pictures this is, this is mainly what it was for um, you know in the future I might be doing you know a, a you know how to to get better with uh, you know making making cinematic shots within Rock Editor. Might do that for you guys if you guys do request it. I can always do that. Uh, I'm not you know I'm not saying I'm a pro or anything at that one. Um, you know I'd like to say I'm pretty good at taking screenshots on on uh, just taking the pictures. I'm not the best with um, cinematics and I'm still learning myself. Um, you know, I could, I can always help people out with the knowledge that I have, and and kind of help their way a little bit. Um, but that's pretty much that for how to t how to get better um, at taking pictures and instead of uh, rock Saturday. If you guys do have any other questions, don't t uh, don't hesitate to uh, to let me know um, in the comment section or by going through the uh, the description and going into my Discord. And you can always ask questions there. I'm always in there interacting with people um and i just actually made my discord not too long ago got a good quite a few um amount of people in there that joined already um so you know, if you guys do want to join that it'll help me out a lot and it would also keep um better contact with me you'd be able to contact me much quicker on there um in, in my discord so like i said if you guys have any other questions uh free for you to let me know other than that you guys have a good rest of your night take care